What's up, YouTube? Good morning. So I'm live from Columbia right now. Um, it's morning time, you know, and I'm about to do something I do most days, which is make a nice cup of coffee. So I just wanted to show you <clears throat> the process I use making coffee here in Colombia. Um, maybe you guys do something different. I know a lot of people in the U.S. use the Keurig and stuff, but um, I don't personally use a Keurig. So I'm going to just show my way and the type of coffee I use um, and kind of like the the um, the tool that I use to make it, I guess. Because I don't really use a machine. I use what's called a French press. So it's basically like this type of thing. Like mine is glass. Most of them are glass. Some of them have like a plastic uh, holster around them or something like that. I remember I had one like that. And then they also have some, something like a filter and then like a rod and then a top that will, you know, stop um, at the top of the glass so that the, the top doesn't enter into the glass, only the filter does. And it just filters out um, the grinds from the water. So. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys a look as I make a cup of coffee. I just warmed up some water for it. So you have to warm up water separately, but I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. Water that I warmed up in this um, jug thing. And, you know, it's still got a little steam on it, but um, it's very hot. So um, let me slide over here show you what I'm working with. First off, this is the coffee that I like to use. It's by Evoke, 100% Colombian. Um, you know, it's got flavors of sweet flavors, chocolate, um, red fruits, uh, aroma, yeah, you know. It's good stuff, man. I got this in the mall. It is Colombian. Um, and it's a cool story, Vogue. It's like um, Tevana. Have you been to Tevana in the States where they sell all those teas and stuff like that? This place sells tea and honey and all type of other stuff. But I, I found their coffee to be very good. I was buying coffee in the supermarket, but um, yeah. Let you guys see what the package looks like. Expiration. So I was buying uh, coffee in the supermarket, but I ended up trying this one day because I was in the mall with a friend. This is right before the quarantine started. And um, I loved it. So first off, just pour a little bit of that. Oh, that's a lot. I didn't mean to pour that, lot, that much. Let me see. It's too much. Oh, that's not too much. That's going to be a strong cup. Actually, I might pour a little bit out. Just pour a little bit of this coffee out. Get back in there. Right. I don't like too strong of a cup. For me, that's like perfect. Something like that. Like um, maybe like a half an inch. So that's in there. It's just coffee, as you can see. All right, just coffee. It smells great. So now what I need to do is take this. Let me get my um, my glove from the majigger. I'm gonna just pour some of this water over the coffee in the glass. back and um, now I'm just gonna wait uh, actually no no nah, I'm gonna put this the filter in first and then I'm gonna wait so they say you should um, filter it 
like this. You can see the top is like chocolate and the bottom is like dark chocolate under the filter where all the grains are. So, hope everyone can see that. Let's see. Let's see a better look. Yeah. See the grains are down here. And then that's all good coffee. So, right now, I just need to let this thing sit here for like, they say two minutes is the minimum. So, I usually do about two minutes. It's no big deal if you go like three minutes or five minutes. Maybe you want the coffee a little bit colder. So, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that's um, how we make coffee. I, I'll um, come back once it's done kind of brewing and then I'll pour out my cup and show you guys what that looks like and then we'll have some fresh Colombian coffee all right be right back all right guys welcome back I uh, brought in some reinforcements on the light so I can show you guys a little bit better what everything looks like so hope it looks good for you um, what I got here now is um, the same coffee I brought some sugar um, there's some sugar. I don't always use sugar, but sometimes I'll drink coffee black and then sometimes with sugar today I'm feeling sugar. And then just some vanilla almond milk. So I'll do the almond milk first. Uh, that should be good. I spilled a little bit. Um, and now I'll just throw a little sugar. That's good. It. Just a taste. Alright. And then I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna hold the top down. Let's see. You gotta hold the filter and the top down, so um it's hard to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna try. I mean, you're fine right now with just holding the top down and not really the filter because there's so much on top, but for the second cup, I'll probably hold the filter down too. So, a color, nice, beautiful color, real deal Colombian blend right there. All right, and if you want, you can uh, grab a spoon. Might lighten the color up a little bit. If that's if the milk is on the bottom, which happens sometimes. But as you can see, I got a whole nother cup. Um, so this this contraption makes about two cups. Um, so I'm gonna knock out this first one and see if I, how I feel. Um, not every day is a two duck two two cup day though. <laughs> You know, so we'll see. We have a taste real quick and turn the camera around actually. Yep, it's perfect. Every time, every time with that process is very consistent, making coffee like that. And uh, Evoke is like super good coffee. Um, so you guys let me know if you do anything different with your coffee. Um, how many people, how many coffee drinkers I got out there anyway, you know, because not everybody likes coffee, but, um, you know, for those that do, there's a ton of different ways to make your coffee. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Keurig because I just feel like it's stale. And I mean, I don't know, I just, the taste compared to like, once I came to Colombia and started trying coffee, I remember I was in Bogota with my boys and we were staying at the Four Points by Sheraton in uh, the 93 district of Bogota. And um, basically at that hotel, they had like this crazy coffee and we all tried it. We were all like, man, that was like the best coffee I ever had. And so it tastes totally different. That was my first time having like a real... Um, Colombian coffee in Colombia 
I do believe it's different when you get things fresh where they're from versus having them transported or, you know, who knows what coffee actually makes it to the States. Like, you know, they could be taking the good stuff off the top here because I do believe that coffee is a big um, part of their culture. It's not just a, a product here. Like, people, you know, I thought, you know, it's just something they sell, but no, it's also something they like to drink, and they have a passion for their coffee here in Colombia. Um, you know, and they got the mountains to prove it. <laughs> they got the mountains to prove it, man. Like, they say um, the coffee changes depending on, like, how high or low you grow it on the mountain. So they have this thing called, like, high and low um, grown coffee. And generally, you know, they have a different taste and things like that. So um, hopefully soon I can go on a, a coffee tour. That's something I've really, really been wanting to do um, since I got here to Columbia. Um, is go on, like, a coffee tour, see some of the, the farms. So if I get a chance to do that um, once this quarantine lightens up, I'll definitely be taking you guys with me. Um, and yeah, please guys, let me know um, what coffee brand you drink. I mean, if you drink a Keurig, there's no shame. I'm just saying it wasn't for me, but let me know what you guys drink, how you drink it. Um, black or, you know, cappuccinos, lattes, whatever. Um, yeah, tap in. I wish everybody the best. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We out.